the mouse is in the maze, and so is Stormy. I think Stormy has figured out there is a mouse in this maze. Stormy's used to this maze. He's been in here three times. He's familiar with the sneaky little escape routes. But I've taped him off today. Stormy's going under the bedding. Popping out. I'm not sure if he knows there's a mouse in here, but he's more active now than when I first put him in the maze where he went to his familiar places and then stopped. Stormy's actually on the other side of the wall of the mouse. He's hard to see in this video because you can't notice the bedding's moving, but he's underneath the bedding directly on the other side of the wall. I'm going to have Tom point to where Stormy's head is. That finger is pointing to Stormy's head. Stormy and the mouse are kind of nose to nose opposite walls. Right there. Thank you, Tommy. That's helpful. There is a way Stormy can get to the mouse. He needs to go through the alley there, turn right, and then make another right and zigzag back to the mouse. So Stormy's been in this maze before. He's kind of used to places that he's snuck past before. I've blocked them off with more tape. There's a clear plate of glass on top of this maze, so neither the snake or the mouse can climb on top and over the walls. Mickey is on the move. My friends, I must warn you, the end result will be Stormy Eats Mickey. We think Mickey is content. You'll see this box over here. It's an all four walled off corridor there. I stuck Mickey in there to begin with. And he climbed up. He found an escape route. I didn't have it all taped down tight. And he climbed over it. And began walking around the maze. Mickey doesn't know Stormy is also in the maze.
Mickey doesn't know Stormy is a threat. <coughs> What I can't figure out is why Stormy is not going after the mouse. He's back in the original corridor where he used to be able to skip through the maze and get to the other end. Can't do it today. I taped it off. He does burrow a lot. He thinks there's a shortcut simply by going under. Look at that. They are almost nose to nose. That Stormy, you cannot go under. When I first started this project, I thought Stormy would zero in on the mouse, but he really doesn't go after his prey quickly. Sometimes I can tell he knows there's something there. And other times, just not sure. It seems to take him a while. Here's Stormy again. He's trying to go over the walls, but he can't. There's a plate of glass there. This particular mouse is a good escape artist. If he really wanted to, he would show down on the cardboard and he would get over the wall. He has the patience and the know-how and the ability to do it. Wow. Wow. Mickey is not scared. He doesn't know Stormy is a threat. So we're going to continue to watch Stormy. I'm hoping Stormy realizes he needs to follow the maze path. He's done it before. Tommy and Anna, my helpers, have just pointed out that Mickey's on the move. If Stormy's not going to go through the maze, Mickey will. What does Mickey think of the tail? He's hesitant. He's not moving forward. I think he's hesitant. He has stopped moving. Mickey is crouched. Ears are up, 
If you can't see it on camera, Mickey is quivering. And his eyes are watching the tail. Not anymore. Okay. Well, Mickey. I think Stormy Here comes Stormy. Something. Stormy is around. <coughs> they are on the diagonal. I think Stormy said that I raised or something. Mickey's a cow. I think Stormy will make a move soon. Stormy sees the mouse. It is imminent. Mickey, thank you. It'll be quick. Well done, Stormy. I hope Mickey was tasty. See, now he's moving. And you can see where he passes Mickey further down with every little crook he makes with his body. Stormy's looking at me right now, so he's sort of stopped. There we go. Mickey is the, the long swell right behind the zigzag. Storm's on the move.